Hey guys, new here today. We've got a few big projects to do. One thing is, see if I can zoom back on this. I had a little leak right up at the top of this uh, 140 here and had to bring it down the other day. Siliconed it and uh, I can fill that back up later on today. But firstly, uh, this 29 tall here, I am going to take and take the water out of it and put it down in this hole here as either a quarantine tank or a fry tank. The Acaras I had in here, the babies that we had, for some reason they just almost all have perished in less than a week. I see a couple one right there I'll be making out. I'm going to take those guys out and put them in this little tank here. If I can uh, catch them and maybe give them a chance. Then I'm going to drain this tank down and uh, put a little sand in the bottom. Drop it down there and then I've got a 55 out in the garage, which I'll walk you out here right quick. Say hello to the front hoses as we walk by. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, big boy. And say hello to the South American Cichlids, Oscar, Severin. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, Bucky. Bucky the parrot. He's outgrowing the other two. I don't know why he's growing so fast, but he is. Okay, enough of that. 55 community tank in the kitchen. Gotta get him out of there. Hey, if anybody knows what he is, let me know. Got him with another tank, and uh, there's only a little fish in there. That's why he ended up in here. He looks like some type of African. Cichlid. Almost ram shape, but not a ram. I swear the guy told me what he was and I can't remember now. Okay, now we we'll go out here. This is the big project of the day. We've got this 55 down here. It's got our convicts and orange or Excuse me, red zebras down there, a couple of uh, picus catfish, which I also got with another tank I bought. That's my uh, survivors. That's what happened is this uh, 140 here went awry on me a few weeks back. I lost about three quarter of the babies that were in there. Well, they weren't babies, they were juveniles. Right now I've got a couple of these four striped uh, Amazon catfish in here and a couple of big Cosmos. Anyway, I am going to take all of those guys over there and put in here for now. And then move that 55 into the house back there after I get that cleaned up. So there's my projects of the day. Also got to get, uh, this one's got a little, uh, oh, what is it, uh, I think that's a 107, Blue Bowl 107. Oh, get it cleaned up and put a new hose on it and then install it in there to help filter this tank. So I will film periodically as I'm doing this and y'all can take a look, see what you think. Uh, let me know what you think of this tank. Wasn't sure about the purple, purple plant that my wife wanted me to add to that tree. So I'll put a few holes in it. It does make it a lot taller and kind of makes a centerpiece on it. Those are some Big, heavy, heavy pieces of Texas Holy Rock there. Holly Rock. I bet those yogurts are 80 pounds a piece. 
70 to 80 pounds a piece. They, uh, they were booger bears to get in there. They're solid. Okay, now let's get to work. It's a little noisy in here with this filter or this uh, hose hanging down into this tank. Uh, Assuming it would be in the water and not making any noise. So I'll probably fast forward through all of, a lot of this. First of all, I'm going to see if I can uh, stir this up and see how many baby fish I got left in here. I actually, at the moment, I only see one. I'm going to save who I can. Well, all that churning and stirring, I managed to find three babies. They're in this little tank here now. I put those in my wife's office here. And, uh, I have been looking and looking, and I don't see any other movement. I'll give one more chance when I get the water all the way down. Okay, we managed to get it cleaned out. Um, Good thing too, because I noticed there was a few baby snail that were in this tank. I think they survived from it being drained last time, but it sat empty for a good while. So I guess the eggs can hatch out; they were tiny. But we got them out. Got to just wipe the bottom out, and I'm gonna set it down there, and then go uh, probably go move those fish. Well, first of all, we'll get some sand and go on the bottom of this and we'll replace it with sand. Got to rinse it out. And then, uh, then we'll move those fish outside. Okay, I got my sand sifted. I actually stole it out of two or three other little aquariums I had out in the big shed. So I got some uh, sand already been pre-filtered. And now I'm going to uh, put a few items back in here and then fill her up with water.
Okay, I got some helpers here. Sammy and Cole. They just want to go get the ball. Okay. I'm going to get all the uh, red zebras out, put in the 140. All the convicts are going to be in this tank once I get it moved, so I'm going to have to get them something, put, uh, get a bucket in here, put water in it, and put all them in there. So that's what I'm fixing to start working on is catching fish. Yay! battery ran out on that one <laughs> when I was getting them but I got got all the got all the zebras in the big tank here sort of made a dent in that big tank put those guys in there and I have all the convicts out you don't even see me catch the convicts but they're in there along with those two pickets it's kind of bad in there but It'll all be good when I get this cleaned out. Get some new sand substrate in there. I hate rock. I mean, I know it's got its purpose, but I just don't like it. Get their filter situated and stuff. I gotta put a longer hose. Gotta put a longer hose on that filter there. Anyway, I'm gonna get back at it. Okay, all drained. Now to get that rock out of there.
got the sand in. Now to get some decoration, let's get our uh, rocks in here, get our filters in here, all that good stuff. Well, success. Got it. Uh, got it together. Got a little filter. A little two oh seven. It's a two oh seven. Um, going into here. Got the jet shooting out like that. And uh, got our decor in there. Not my best job, but it will suffice. Convicts have got a home now. What do y'all think? Comment down below. Let me know what you think of it. But I hope you got some entertainment out of watching me struggle through this. Uh, take a look at the link below. I might uh, link some uh, food. Good deals on Amazon I found. And uh, like I say, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And We'll uh, see you on the next video we put out. Appreciate you watching. New out.